Hello, scholars. This week we're going to create a textured abstract artwork uh, inspired by quilting. Um, first, we're going to do is we're going to write our name on the top left or right side. I'm going to write my name on the right side of the paper. And this week, your paper is going to be vertical. So first thing I want you to do is draw one um, curve line towards the top of the paper. And then I want to draw another curve line towards the middle of the paper. So that's two. Now I want you to draw two wavy lines and these wavy lines are going to be vertically down the paper and this is the base of the drawing now what you're going to do is you're going to take your marker or color pencil or crayon and you're going to outline the four lines on your paper. Now, if you don't have um, a black, you can use brown, gray, blue, purple. And once you're done outlining, you're going to have some extra lines. So what you're going to do is you're going to erase the extra lines on your paper. Now it's starting to look like a quilt. A quilt, um, a blanket that is quilted, has lots of different textures and patterns. So that's what we're going to create today is textures and patterns. Now I'm going to start off with the middle of the paper here. And I'm going to take three different colors, pink, purple, and yellow. Now I'm going to start off with the purple, and you don't have to copy my colors. You can do whatever colors you would like. And I'm going to create some zigzags on the paper. And this will be the first pattern. I'm actually going to make a zigzag here too as well. Just to fill in the white spaces. Now you're going to take your time and you're going to fill in all of the zigzags. Now I'm just going to use the direct marker on there, but I want you to take your pencil first, then go back in with the crayon marker or color pencil, and then uh, do the exact pattern. And see, I'm just taking my time because I want to make sure that the pattern is exactly the same as the other side. So I'm just taking my pattern. And you can use any three colors. You don't have to copy the colors that I am using for this particular pattern. It's just very, very simple, simplex. Um, way to do this design.
And when I get towards the end, I want to start to stop at that point. So this is the first square uh, square done. Now I'm going to take three more colors. So I'm going to take these three colors, the blue, the red, and the green. And I'm going to make some dots inside of the next one. And I'm going to t and I'm going to take this all throughout my paper. I'm going to make some dots with the blue, green, and red. So I just took the one color. Now I'm going to take the second color. And make some swirl patterns. So now that I finished with the uh, swirls, I'm going to move on to the next um, box and I'm going to make some diagonal lines using this pink color and then I'm going to create some dots inside of that area. Um, I'm going to take the color orange and then make dots all around the diagonal lines. Hey. So see, I'm taking my marker and I'm making wavy lines. And I'm going to put lines um, inside of the, I'm going to put dots inside the lines, just like we did up here. So for this one, I created um, some vertical lines and some horizontal lines with overlapping. And now that those lines are complete, I'm going to take my red marker and I'm going to um, create a pattern by just coloring in one
number 24 of the pattern all the way from the from here all the way to the top. So for the last one, I started to um, make some dash lines. And I'm going to continue the dash lines using a third color and just making little lines around um, the section. So here is the texture quilt project fully completed.